<laughs> you can't clean. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can take the little honeycomb and put it on the side if you like. Oh, it's, it's so cute. It's so cute. It is so cute. Mm. It is so cute. Well, welcome, everyone, to our October wine time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and today it's all things brunch. I'm Gwen Novak, here with Nikki Goldstick. And I'm Brooke. Yeah, and what? Uh, so today I made a little something easy because Nikki oh, yeah. hates anything with egg. <laughs> but she's discernible. So I saw this recipe on Facebook of all things yesterday, okay. and I thought, let's do this. So it is an apple cider donut cake. Ooh, I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, and if you don't love to cook, this is, sorry, there are flies, that drives me insane around food. Um, but if you don't like to cook, this is really a perfect kind of desserty thing or brunch item because it starts with a box mix. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. Love that. So easy. And then you add apple cider and applesauce and a lot of other things with cinnamon and, and eggs, stuff you have in the pantry. Um, but so yeah, I thought we would try that today with some fresh fruit. And Brooke, what'd you make us? Oh, okay. So first and foremost, we have some fantastic fruit. We do. Nikki, would you like to tell us what that is? And I'll tell you what we paired it with. We wanted, well, traditionally, you know, not traditionally, a lot of people <laughs> want to have mimosas with their brunch. But yes. I thought, well, in the fall, you know, you really don't want to go for... It. One orange juice, let's, let's face it, it's kind of boring. Yes, Everybody and it's overdone. Juices. Anybody can but, do but that. But what other kind of mimosas are out there, and what can we do? So I said, Brooke, you know, let's let's get together and do yeah. a different kind of, or as Gwen says, zhuzh it up a bit. We love zhuzhing. We love zhuzhing. <laughs> we zhuzh here a lot. So this is St. Hilaire, which is one of the oldest working monasteries. So let's say, I love the label. You can tell it's old school. It is um, where Dom Perignon was supposed to have trained to make champagne because wow. you know the, the monks were making bubbles long time before the champagne region discovered it. So this is one of the oldest uh, sparklings and of course it is fruit today. It is a lovely fruit. And what did we add to this? All right, so what we added, it's super simple. Once again, going off the cake, we want it simple. If we have a lot of guests, this can feed a lot of people. So what's easier than popping champagne? A fall mimosa. So we did one ounce of salted caramel shine. This is from a local distillery, Southern Trail, and this stuff is fantastic by itself, uh, but it pairs really well for that fall mimosa. So I dipped the rim in honey, as you can kind of see it stripping down here, um, and then I dipped it in cinnamon sugar, so you get that fall cinnamon taste with the sweetness. Uh, we just did one ounce of the salted caramel, and we topped it with champagne. Yeah. And there's a little bit of honey Ooh. inside with the stick, right? Yes. Yeah. And you know, this is fantastic, and what you can do as well, so we've all tasted it like this, it's fantastic, right? Super yeah. sweet on the tongue, delish. But if you're trying to make it next level, you can, say you're not a big bubbly fan, you kind of want to have more of a juice taste, and some people are like that. Uh, you would top it with some apple cider, and this is a really good fruit. So if you have a drier one, I would suggest, we're just going to top it with yeah. just a little bit of apple cider, um, and then you have your fall mimosa. Of course, if you're looking for garnish, um, these are real, real cheap and real cute. You get a little honeycomb, and I dipped honey in it and threw it in here. So that just adds some flair if you want style with your cocktail. A pleasure making me insane this morning. <laughs> it's that time of year when they all come out because it's not all the hot, gnats, it's all so the flies. Yes. And we just need a little bit more crisp air and they will go all away. hopefully yep. die. And this yep. is the perfect, perfect summer. Yes. I mean, Sunday brunch. brunch. Yes. Oh my Sparkly. gosh. Now, if you didn't have um, the salted caramel avail available, you could then probably just do apple cider yep. and sparkling too. Absolutely. Uh, you can find a caramel vodka. You can switch it up any way you want. Even honey vodka. Or if you just don't want booze, like you said, just cider. Cider in itself. Yeah. Okay. I think the rim really makes it. Now, yeah. these mm -hmm. drinks, I will warn you, they get a little sticky on your fingers. Um, but to me, it just it makes it taste. I know. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. We're going to have really messy drinks today. Uh, okay. I have a full lineup for you guys. Okay. So, yeah. Nikki, if you want to get the plates, we can start plating yep. the yeah. cake. Um, and we have two options here. We're going to go for an espresso martini, mm. which is one of my diehard favorites. Uh, but also, we're going to get a little weird with a bacon martini because everyone does the same brunch cocktails. They do Bloody Marys. They do mimosas with orange juice. I am taking you down a path to switch it up. <laughs> and espresso martinis are very trendy. Um, and bacon martinis are almost unheard of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So we were chatting, and apparently somebody thinks it's weird to not like eggs. 
hate eggs. <laughs> yeah, please walk us through that. I don't do a lot of that. breakfast. I don't do a lot of brunch. And so having the um, the bacon martini something, or I was just excited over. So I'm looking forward to it. Right, I'm going to serve up some cakes, you guys. Yes, please. Awesome. And don't be stingy on the bacon over there. Right? All right, so we will do coffee last because I feel like that's a good starter, and this will be okay. this will pair well. So what I did with this, and I'm going to pass. Now, don't steal all the bacon. I know you, Nikki. You don't I like know. eggs, but <laughs> well, I, might steal this I should cake. be stressed. <laughs> this cake is so good. bacon here. This okay. is so good. Is it good? It's, just, it's so, so moist. Because what you do, too, is so you moist. melt a half a stick of butter, and you brush it all over the cake after mm. it comes out of the oven. And then you liberally sprinkle it with cinnamon sugar. So don't tell my nutritionist that I'm eating this is what I'm telling everybody. <laughs> all you right. Quiet. Bacon martini. Here's, here's how this goes. Hopefully I don't knock anything up. So we're going to torch this cedar plank. And this is totally optional. You can make this cocktail without it. I think, once again, next level. You know, Shushing. if you love to, well, once again. You know again, what? You can judge stuff up pretty easy. You know, mm -hmm. this this looks complicated because you're like, oh, I only well, have one of those fancy easy. torches, but it's easy. We're yeah. talking ten dollar torch. You know, you can get cedar planks at Lowe's, Amazon, anywhere, just about any uh, hardwood store. Because normal people use it uh, for, as I've said in the past, grilling. I use it for drinks. Crème brûlée too. Mm -hmm. Don't hold yourself back. Yeah. yeah, you can use it for anything. So that, that's so system. easy. Look, two seconds. And these coupe glasses are obviously smoking. They're nice mm -hmm. and. Uh, Nice and foggy is what I call it. Got to make sure this is not the espresso. <laughs> Sniffing it. And uh, this cocktail, all it is, is we've got bacon vodka. Regular vodka in here. So you're going to do about an ounce and a half of bacon vodka. One ounce of regular vodka. Can be Tito's. Can be anything you want. Uh, and just a hair of maple syrup. So just half an ounce. Okay. So it's super easy. You can build it with a bacon vodka. Yes. That old adage, everything's better with bacon, is so true. It used to be, like, and you can use this bacon vodka. Uh, what else am I going to use it for? Uh, Bloody Mary's, hello. Mm. Uh, so don't limit yourself yeah. to just one drink. So we're going to flip it. We're going to just go ahead and pour. It's going to have a little bit of smoke to it. Oh, that one was nice. So you can smell the smoke really. Yes, really this, that, and that's cedar. I love cedar. And I love using cedar because it's such a clean smoke. I'm not a big fan of um, when people use uh, wood chips yeah. because oh, then okay. it gets it all ashy. What about uh, like, a, like the, the, the planks that they use for cooking with salmon and things like the mesquite or any of those? Would yeah, totally fine. Okay. I but think you just think planks are better. Yeah, than you're going to get, if you're using any of the other ones, you're going to get a more aggressive smoke. If it's mesquite or hickory, hickory is going to be extremely aggressive. There's your bacon on I'm pretty yeah. sure I had two pieces of bacon on mine. I think you can have ten if you want. <laughs> this is like breakfast in a glass. It is. Pretty much. It is. And it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. But uh, it's like, you know, a little meal in itself. All I did, and folks, I'll be honest with you, we're talking easy. I just, little, little mini egos. There's nothing wrong with that. Super cute. And then bacon. Bacon. And there's your bacon martini. And you can dip it in there. You can eat it on the side. It's totally up to you. Um, I just mm, love bacon. Me too. I dipped my waffles. It's pretty good, though. <laughs> I'm curious to think. So people love or hate this one. Well, because it's bacon martini. And when I say it tastes like bacon, it tastes like bacon and pancakes. It's delish. So let me know what you think. Love it. And smoky. I love the smokiness. Yes. Really got that coming through. Mm -hmm. You can smell it. The smoke off there. So we, we did a little pause because we were all munching because it's yes. just so delicious. <laughs> the drink is like amazing. Um, we were just saying, I, I feel like it needs more maple syrup. Just a smidge more. Taste. Yeah. yeah. When you're sipping this, one thing I'll always say, and that goes with a mimosa or anything, taste it. If it's a little too strong, you can add more cider and things like that. For this particular case, I agree. A little bit more maple would maple would have been, you know, it's just it's better. Really smoky, and you can you can taste the bacon. I mean, oh it's, yeah, yeah. It's very, this bacon vodka is no joke. No, <laughs> no. You gotta like bacon. Yeah. <laughs> so you use the bacon vodka though. I mean, you, we were saying like there's not a lot, but you were saying um, Bloody Marys for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just think get creative. I yeah. think there's I almost. 
I almost would put it in something like a chocolatey, so you get that sweet salty. That would be you know? awesome. Yeah. Don't be, be awesome. afraid to mix things. Worst case scenario, okay, you don't like Fish it. it out but whatever. yeah, my biggest thing is you could even not necessarily coffee, but if you had more of a chocolatey esque, mm -hmm. I would just take a little shot glass and put both together in a tiny little shot glass. Twirl it, see if it tastes yeah. good. In worst case scenario, if it's too strong, add a little bit more simple syrup or, you can or something just, you can to just cut it. You can just play with them and just yes, different play with, with it. The, oh my so, gosh, the weirdest things I've done is playing with it and being like, no way, no way, but what if? And then you try <laughs> and you're like, oh uh, my god. Yeah, I was doing that last night, making what's, more uh, recipes for Southern Trail. I what's was like, the, uh, what's the worst case scenario? You don't like the drink and you move You on. hate it. Right? Yeah, and like How I often said, does that happen? do a shot glass, <laughs> do a shot glass, Not do a little here. half, half, half and half ounce each and then you're not wasting a lot you're tr able mm -hmm. to try the flavors together and like I said if it's too strong you know to add a little simple syrup and things like that to break it apart um, but you brought up something great we were talking about bacon and garnish um, and you suggested maybe putting it around the rim and I said yes it's possible you could dip it with maple and do a crushed bacon but it would have to be an instant serve because if you let bacon sit it gets all fatty and greasy which don't get me okay. wrong, I love me some bacon, but it's not yeah. going to look aesthetically pleasing. What You're about, not gonna go, Ugh. don't shoot the messenger. Okay. I won't ever shoot the Using messenger. Using like the, the real bacon bits that they have in the store, that's mm -hmm. just the bits, could you do that? Because they're pretty dried. I mean, they're they're dried and... You could do it, and my only answer would be I've never tried it. Yeah. So don't knock it till you try it. But I'm always going to say fresh bacon's going to be better. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to say that too, and I'm really glad you brought bacon in. Lovely. I know, and now I'm thinking like, you know, this is definitely a one and done drink in my opinion. I could not drink bacon vodka all day long. I couldn't. <laughs> I just couldn't. Champagne? Whew, I could. Right. Uh, buy too much stuff off Amazon, but yes, I could. <laughs> I, I'd end um, up just eating the garnish. <laughs> I know. But this, the, you know, as I love to get you guys drunk on this uh, vlog. <laughs> They're similar color too, these two oh, drinks. Mm -hmm. really they good. are. Yep. Well, we're going to go completely in here. This is so autumnal. This I know. This is so good. I, I'm, I just want to lick the rim. <laughs> I am a, I am I a sparkling girl, doing that. you know, that I will always gravitate toward the sparkling. Although I do love all things bacon. Mm -hmm. This is all the, all the white pans, so good. of course. And the yeah, cake no. is delicious. You're not splashy. Splash Um, Can we, do we have a recipe on the cake that we can put on, yeah, on the link? Yeah, we'll definitely promote, uh, do that. Cause it's funny because um, you see all these recipes on Facebook yeah. and you think, well, that sounds really good. And then you try and you're like, mm. Mm. Epic fail. Oh, but this one yes. works. This one works. So yay. Well, I'm gonna just say this though, because you being as talented as, as a, of a chef as you are, sometimes you do things that I can't do, and you make like you and I make the same recipes, and my recipes do not taste the same. Now I I can cook pretty well, but I don't do Gwen. Well, you know it's funny because you kind of watch me stress over the butt cake because right. butt cakes can really really be really. Uh, your Be worst nightmare in the kitchen because so you really when you when you make this cake oh, you use that recipe. spray stuff it's a combination of Ooh. oil and, and flour mm -hmm. or spray it and then flour the hairy heck out of it because the last thing you want is for it to stick in that bun pan and you know three quarters of it comes out clean and the the last little bit sticks to the end side falls off when it says the recipe says to wait for it to cool and i think it said 20 minutes i let it cool a lot longer okay. because it also starts to come away from the sides of the pan when it yes. when it cools and take a little um paring knife too just be really careful you don't if you have a non-stick bun pan which i would recommend um that you don't scratch the surface but yeah. get a knife in there to try to I do a butter knife. knife. I do yes. a butter knife. Yeah. Yeah, because then those suckers. I've you, also used you a spoon. Cannot, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you don't. I mean, go heavy on the on the spray and the flour. The, it's gonna. Yeah, the last thing you want is for it to stick. I use my that thing. One thing I use my bump pan for is I make a really good rum cake. Yes. Mm. Really <laughs> good rum cake. Okay, we are not fighting over the bacon. It's mine. <laughs> Shelly, as usual, has joined us. My yellow <laughs> lab. So and, uh, it's my bacon. bacon. She, got a, she, she hasn't gotten any bacon. She's gotten some waffles and some cake. But <laughs> she's not happy about this. We <laughs> are uh, definitely saving the bacon for ourselves. We're getting a little selfish <laughs> here. So uh, as we were chatting, ladies, I put a espresso martini in front of you. It, it took like two seconds to make. I know you didn't even. We you didn't think even. Cocktails take long when you're at a when you're at a bar. Yeah. You order something. You're, you're like, wow! It took him 20 minutes to make this. 
espresso martini. I can never make it at home. I can well, never make busy. it at home. <laughs> it took you two minutes. What did you put in this before we drink it? Okay, so we have my my good old company, uh, Southern Trail, over here. You know, I make all their recipes, so I'm, if I can use their product, I'm using their product. Now, before we say anything else, though, we do have a lot of, we have not a lot, we have some viewers that are not local, so they can't yes. access Southern Trail. Are there other espresso absolutely absolutely yeah. coffee liqueur <laughs> coffee mm -hmm. liqueur. okay so this is going to be uh it's one ounce of cream de cocoa which is literally like your triple sec but it's a chocolate liqueur uh and then you're going to do i did two ounces of coffee if you were making a standard martini we can provide both in the links for you uh you could use one ounce of regular vodka and then one ounce of coffee liqueur okay uh, so that's a good substitute. And there's plenty of brands. There's Mr. Coffee. They make a Jameson cold brew. If you want to go that oh, way really? now. Yeah. It's yeah. actually pretty have good. You, have you guys tried? Okay, this is off the topic, but have you tried the, the Coca-Cola coffee? Mm. Yes. It's weird. It's weird. Yes. It's weird. weird. I, how I, weird? What? Okay, it's Well, I mean, it's it tastes like it's Coke, but with But a, it tastes like a vanilla Coke almost. Yeah, it's, but it's it coffee. Does. I agree. It's cold? Well, you, you put it in your fridge. I mean, right. Yeah. And it's just meant to be considered but it's not drunk a coffee. Like, it's it's Coca Cola coffee flavored. Okay. You gotta funky. try it. Like you gotta like a, a, a 16 ounce can. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. All right, let's try this. All right, let's try this. Yes. Let's try this. More importantly. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I love a little coffee bean garnish. No. Yes, love coffee beans. Um, And also, you do cold brew. You can do cold brew in here. You don't necessarily have to do espresso if you don't have an espresso machine. So you can go get nice. a big jug of cold brew if you have a ton of guests mm -hmm. over and make your life even easier. So I always do two ounces of espresso or two ounces of cold brew. Um, this doesn't even need simple syrup. It no. can. No, I can taste this. I do not. This <laughs> specific is already has sweetened enough. If yeah. I can avoid simple syrup, I avoid it. Yes. But um, in this case, with this particular coffee, uh, shine, you do not need any simple syrup whatsoever. This is really nice. I am not a coffee drinker, typically. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not one of those people who wake up and have coffee every morning. Okay. I have tea. I'm a teetotaler. Okay. Tea totaler. But, you know, <laughs> you know, I, you know, know, like I make, a, I make a tea old fashioned. You guys are starting to see how weird I really am. But I do like this. <laughs> full disclosure. Yeah, full disclosure. So no eggs. Strange. No eggs, no coffee. Man, breakfast at your house is like... I know. Leave. We're not going like there. Just kidding. <laughs> Never been We're thinking. Not going I eat bacon and that's it. Oh, whole pound. We're only going to Nikki's for dinner. <laughs> not but breakfast. This is delicious. And, and mm -hmm. you know, and again, I'm not a coffee drinker, but this is not one of my things with coffee is it's like so overpowering and it, it yeah. just, it's like you oh. get that. But it's smooth. Mm -hmm. You got a bite, you got a kick, but it's smooth. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> funny story about espresso martinis. Uh oh. So, in, my, story. in my household, um, and when I say household, I mean like my parents. Me, my whole, the whole Brown family. We're all sitting there one night drinking espresso martinis, and I learned all my mixology talents from my father. And uh, every time we drink an espresso martini, we joke, we go, "We're gonna buy a condo," because we had espresso martinis one evening. And my dad has a tendency of when you put your glass down, you look away, he fills it. <laughs> Uh, so through the night, we're all having a good time. We're drinking, drinking, drinking. Uh, we did what we called um, time travel, where you remember almost everything. We uh, we were getting texts from a realtor on Ocean oh. City condos the next day because we were about to buy one. <laughs> we were all going in on it. So That's espresso it. martinis, delicious. Dangerous. But you might buy a condo. <laughs> See, like, because you often hear about, like, don't drink and shop on, or online shopping, like on Amazon. But oh, that's pretty extreme, Brooke. I mean, you guys... We almost like, got a condo. Apparently, you consulted a realtor. You know, in hindsight, uh, still would have been a good investment. Not totally mad about it. So. Hey, sometimes you have really great <laughs> ideas on espresso Beware, martini. Beware, oh a gosh. little alcohol and caffeine might make you do some, uh, some real estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... These, these oh have been gosh. like all amazing. I know. So yes, the the goal of this vlog today is how can you make your brunch so different? Yes. Step away from the the yeah, usual. Exactly. You know? Well, we're not yeah. knocking we're not, the tradition, no, but hey, switch it up. You know, I always love to to try to shout out that I did live in Italy because I'm awesome. But Humble when I brag, <laughs> when I lived brag. in Italy, but <laughs> when I lived in Italy, I will never forget though <laughs> at a tasting. A wine tasting I had there at one of the wineries, and they said that to the Italians, they were drinking this red wine, and they go, "This is just for breakfast." And I was like, "Wait, wait, 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 I wait!" Back, back up. I the train. train. Back. Time out. Back up the train. This is our breakfast wine. Breakfast wine? <laughs> okay, I'm all in. As I said, this is my. These are my people. Yes, <laughs> exactly. But to them, 
Wine is all day. It's part of your meal. And I'm just saying, if you're having a brunch, and we have, we have a little music. Because <laughs> if it can go wrong, right. it's going to happen gonna while you're taping. Right <laughs> Barking dogs. <laughs> Phones that ring. All right. Our videographer's fire. What's a dog? Oh, a dog. A dog. A dog. So my point being, being yeah, back that, to Nikki. That, yes, um, I. That was one of my thoughts. Was you know you, yeah, we drink a lot on this vlog because it's all about alcohol and food yeah, and, and the idea of wine. Hey, I'm and not judging. And, and how it pairs together. <laughs> but don't be afraid. You know, we've got a lot of family events, and I think this year is going to be especially more family related than it is going out and partying. So yeah. I think when you're having your family over and you're stressed out, um, I'm advising drinking. So I advise <laughs> drinking with family at all times. So pick your favorite and cheers, everyone. <laughs> cheers. Do a fabulous fall. <laughs> Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. You know what we didn't do? Uh, like, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> sure. hey, <I'm> <laughs> you're supposed to like, subscribe, and share. There this vlog. We'll see you guys next month. Bye. <laughs>